Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is your weekly love reading for the period of 17th to the 23rd of July. So right after the lunar eclipse, how has it all been for you? Still not over. This lunar eclipse is going to stay. Energies are going to stay, you know, any time between three to six months. But yes, for the next one, two weeks, it's going to be still there, strong, okay? So, how has been your eclipse night or day, whichever part of the world you were in? Okay, I'll share my experience. I have been, you know, I'm a Cancerian, so yeah, a lot of emotional upheaval for me. And because I'm Capricorn Moon and the lunar eclipse is happening in Capricorn, oh my God, what a roller coaster it has been for me. You know, I, I had loss of appetite. I had, you know, I was in the worst of my mood and I was, I cried at a stretch for almost 18 hours, no reason, absolute no reason. Of course, the reasons are always there. I mean, all the reasons from the past, nothing from the present, you know, but then I realized this is the time. This was needed, this purging was needed, okay? All right, so share your lunar eclipse experiences in the comments so that others can read it. And, you know, sometimes when we comment, when we write, and uh, others who are there, who are scared or shy of opening up, you know, they feel motivated. They feel they are not alone. You know, others are feeling it too. So everybody has problems. I thought of all the things I've lost in my life till date. You know, and I'm not a young person, definitely not. So I am 42. So there's so many ups and downs I've seen in my life. So many things I've experienced. I have reached, you know, the peak of my career. I have hit rock bottom. So you know, everybody goes through such ups and downs. Share, share, talk among each other. And that helps you release a lot of things from inside you. And you realize you're not alone. Everybody has had their share of karmic justice, karmic lessons, and so on. You know? All right, Taurians. Let's see what we have for you this week. Beginning of the week. Busy bee with the Hierophant and the Two of Pentacles. Middle of the week. There it comes. Eight of Wands and the Two of Swords. At the end of the week. Tello. And the Four of Pentacles. All right. Taurians, firstly, in the beginning of the week, I feel, you know, the Taurians that I'm connecting with, they are either married, you know, or in a committed relationship. But whatever relationship they are in, it's like they put in a lot of effort. I don't know about the other person in your life, but it seems you put in a lot of effort. And uh, it's not only about a married relationship. It's about your work. Your work-life balance. I feel you, you are struggling there in your work-life balance. If you are, you know a parent, 
or if you are staying with roommates, even as petty as roommates, or you you stay with friends, it seems you do most of the work, you know, and somewhere people feel you know things better or you can handle things better, you can handle people better, or maybe you have that wisdom, that knowledge, so you are that miss or Mr. Dependable. You are the one who can pull things through, whether at work, whether in relationship, whether... And I see you juggling, okay? I see you juggling. And doing things, doing things that are right for everybody around you. So if you are in a love relationship or married relationship or single or, you know, a single parent or a child, you know, taking care of your parents, even if you have other brothers and sisters, you are the one who do, does the lion's share. You're always busy. Or even at work, I feel you have to put in a lot of effort, a lot of, and you have to balance a lot of things. You are the balancer of wherever you are. I mean, at your work, at your in your relationships, at home, you are the balancer. What is coming to a zero in the middle of the week is one sudden event. Your middle of the week will start with, as we say, a boom. Something. Something which is going to make you, you know, and it's going to be at very fast. Firstly, it's going to be sudden. Secondly, it's going to be very fast with the eight of wands. So it is a sudden change of events. A sudden communication. A sudden truth about something. A sudden news. A sudden... Suddenly somebody comes back to your life or into your life or in your life, a new person. And... It makes you kind of be in a crossroad where at one end you are tempted to embrace this change and at the other end you are tempted to listen to your mind. So it is about a situation where you are forced to decide between your heart and your mind. Okay, this is going to be this. This is going to be very sudden. Okay, a temptation. This could be very well a temptation because at the end of the week I see the devil here, Capricorn energy. So you could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign because there's a lot of Earth element in your reading. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, mainly Capricorn. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag because Temperance is here. Okay, but. You know, this is about a temptation in your life. Could be a new relationship. Maybe you're married and suddenly somebody, or you're in a committed relationship and suddenly somebody takes fancy for you, proposes you at work. Or you are single, but you're dating somebody and you are in a serious relationship and somebody comes from out of the blue, starts communicating with you, talks about settling down, talks about marriage, talks about all the things that you wanted in life, talks about taking a part of your responsibility, and you are left at a crossroad. You don't know whether to trust this person or to just let it be. Okay? So, this person or this event comes and disturbs the balance of your life. Yes, you were balancing, but you were balancing things effectively. You were doing things okay. You were habituated. You were happily balancing between your work and career or between your work and home, your work-life balance, or, you know, you were focused on your work. You were focusing on your own growth. You were focusing on your marriage, your family, on your society, with your friends, doing just the right things. So you were, as I said, Miss or Mr. Dependable. But here comes this person or this situation or this moment which just sits 
unsettles things in your life. And you are left at a crossroad. You're confused now, completely confused. It's like as if somebody has tied your eyes up and said, okay, now decide. Pin the tail to the donkey. It's like that. You have the sword in your hand, you don't know. What are you going to cut? The heart or the mind? This could be to do with, you know, uh, cancer being your third house, fourth house. Yeah, sun moving to your fourth house. And uh, Mercury coming back to your third house, communication. So there could be some kind of communication from neighbor, friend, sibling, something. Something to do with communication, you know. And uh, which disrupts your home life. And then I see, you know, by the end of the week, it's like you are working towards balance again. You're trying to restore this balance that you had here in the beginning of the week. At the end of the week, I see you trying to restore that balance. Again, a Saj energy, it's like you're trying to balance. There, there are two, two of pentacles here, two of souls here, but there's a difference. This is balancing effectively, balancing efficiently. And this is at a crossroad where you are in a mental conflict. This again is balance, but this is about balancing your desires and the practical sides of life. Balancing your emotion and balancing your temptations and the practicals. So you want a balance. Of course, there are certain fears, there are certain addictions of yours, which are kind of holding you back. Maybe this this situation is something that has made you go in, into your fears, making you feeling scared, unsettled, or tempted towards somebody. If it's somebody who has suddenly come and rocked your boat, then you are definitely tempted. For a moment, you are tempted to give in to this person's pressure. Maybe this person is pressurizing you or will pressurize you. Starts communicating a lot with you, you know. And so you're scared. That's the reason you want this balance. You're scared of giving in to this person, which you don't want to. But this person has a control over your mind. Or this could be your fear too regarding this relationship. Regarding this person. There's something that is very controlling. It's definitely very toxic. Not good. This toxic. Yeah, this feels very addictive. This feels very tempting. Maybe this person is asking for a one night stand. Or it's like you meet this person at the pub. And you hit off immediately. This person from the next day is trying to kind of lure you or ask you out or go for a one day uh, one night out with you and you know that you know you need to balance everything will go for a toss maybe you are a married woman or a married man and this person is just an office fling or this person is just a you know a visitor in the city but you're so drawn towards them you're so tempted towards them there's this physical attraction. You you kind of fantasize things with them. You kind of see yourself at least for once with this person. But I think you're not going to open up easily. I think because, again, you are Mr. or Miss Dependable, as I would say. So I don't think you're going to open up easily to this person. You're going to... You know, no matter how much temptation this person brings on the table, but something inside you, you know, will make you closed off. With the Four of Pentacles as the last energy for the end of the week, I feel you're going to get closed off. Maybe you know that the temptation is still there. Maybe you know that if you want, you can. Nobody will ever come to know about it. But somewhere you would just let it pass, okay? It's like you 
you want balance. You don't want to disturb your balance of life because of a temptation. This is definitely a temptation of the moment. Maybe it is somebody from your past. So maybe your ex. Maybe your ex just comes back and, you know, kind of talks sweetly, tempts you to, you know, meet them once or be with them or... But things have moved on. You have moved on from that. Okay? Your life is different now. You are no longer the person you were when they were in your life. You have changed. You have healed. So that's the reason I see the temperance there. It's like as if you are trying to heal from this temptation. You are trying to resist this temptation. You know, this was out of the blue, unexpected. So, I see you going back, holding back, holding back things inside you. And, you know, not opening up, not giving in to this person. But definitely some event will happen, okay, which will be very unexpected and which will make you, you know, come at a crossroad where you have to make a decision, whether it's your mind or whether it's your heart. What should you choose? And I think you're going to choose your mind over your heart because you're going to try and see it from a balanced point of view. You're not going to react. Though the temptation will be very, very strong. Very, very strong. But I feel your inner fears could hold you back. Or it could be for some Torians that you have been happily single, working, managing your life. Suddenly something happens and you meet somebody who starts communicating a lot with you. And you, again, your balance is disturbed. This person, and maybe of your, because of your past experiences, you're scared to open up to this person. That could also be the reason why the devil is here. It could be your own fears. You're scared to open up to this person thinking of you might get hurt so that you might get hurt feeling might stop you from opening up to this person as I see it is followed by the four of pentacles you may close yourself off even if it's temporary maybe you will we'll see with the next week's reading whether you open up or whether I pick on the same energy but uh, Definitely, it's, it's going to be something that disrupts you. Okay, disrupts your daily routine for good or for bad. But even if for good or for bad, I see you closing yourself off. Maybe to take some time out and to think what next. But you're not going to take any action this week. That's for sure. So, cross watchers, if you're watching Taurus, be sure. Taurus is not making a move. They are the bull. They are not swift as a rabbit. They take their time. Okay? All right. Let's see two more cards from the Psychic Tarot. What it's guiding you towards. Show me. All right. Positive movement forward. And financial and material changes. All right. So as I said, there are some changes. There's some tar moment, some changes. And you know, you, as you were balancing things, your materials, your, as I said, this could be an office romance, a temptation to, you know, a temptation too hard to resist, an office, a person advancing towards you at, at work. And you know, it could mean changes. It can either mean that you could lose your job or this person could be your boss tempting you with a promotion. But you are definitely going to go for a positive movement forward. So you're going to go in for your abundance, for your financial and material changes. Focus more on your career like you have been doing in the beginning of the week. So this temptation of yours, you're going to close off. And focus on your balance. Focus on your movement forward. And not go back to that energy of, you know, guilt. 
okay because you are more focused towards what lies ahead of you and not what has come right from the back suddenly taking over speed and come in front of you okay because you are definitely thinking about your financial and material changes the impact and as i said for some torians because look at this man with this wedding band this line is highlighting this wedding band so this could be something to do with the hierophant this could be something to do with marriage maybe your marriage and somebody from your past comes in or somebody in your office some something something around your surrounding just disrupts things or it could be with your partner you come to know about something about your partner and you have been doing the maximum share of responsibility in the family and you come to know your partner just had a one night fling or did something or was with somebody or is already with someone is committed to somebody you know or going steady with somebody that makes you come into the crossroad that what should i do next should i cut them off or should i continue as if i don't know so that could be the reason for temperance being here that could be the reason of your fear but ultimately i see you closing yourself off not taking any action maybe sit back and watch and think what to do next okay but definitely whatever you want to do you want to do which you know uh takes you forward in life and not moves you back yes there will be financial and material changes if you decide to move away from this relationship then there would be financial and material changes but you are okay with that as long as the relationship is healthy and not toxic with the devil okay so let's see one oracle advice for you my tolerance or to be have for you here alchemy you have the midas touch right now every project you turn turns to gold so choose wisely what do you want you are the one who manifested this okay the star moment the sudden change in your life maybe somewhere you manifested it maybe you were thinking too much about somebody or maybe you were thinking or you were doubting your partner for a long time or you were craving for an ideal sexy macho beautiful kind of person whom you could be you know one time and there they are right in front of you now you don't know what to do you're at a crossroads so you are the one who manifested this okay torians so you have the mind to start every project you turn you you begin turns to gold so think wisely choose wisely what do you want whom you want you want to give in to this devil or you want to close yourself off okay take your time decide all right taurus this is all i have for you this week i'll be coming up with your new your next week's love reading after the 23rd please like share and subscribe if you like this video and please do comment leave comment on how your lunar eclipse has been share it with other taurians let them feel that they are not alone and you know i'll see you next week till then bye